For more information about LaunchBar, check out the LaunchBar homepage at clinkies.go.lbar. In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate basic operations of the LaunchBar Quick Launcher. LaunchBar is called a Quick Launcher, but I prefer their description of it as a productivity utility. You can launch programs at which it excels, but it does so much more than that. You can browse files and perform actions with them, search the web, use a calculator, access your clipboard history, look up addresses, create events and to-do items on your iCal calendar, run Apple scripts, and much more. Although LaunchBar is a for-pay program, you can download a 30-day free trial from the product homepage. I've tried competing programs such as Quicksilver and Alfred, and they are free, but ultimately LaunchBar was the one that made the most sense for my workflow. However, I urge you to try others for yourself and see what works for you. First, let's look at the most basic function of LaunchBar, quick access to your applications. LaunchBar indexes your applications, as well as files, documents, and directories, so you can access them quickly using a shortcut. I use Command Space, which I remapped from the Mac Spotlight Search, but you can choose whatever combination you want. So this is how it works. I invoke LaunchBar using the shortcut Command Space. I then start typing the name of the application I want to launch. I want to launch the terminal, so I'm going to start typing the, the word terminal. As I type, LaunchBar intelligently shows me matches for what I'm typing. When I see the application that I want to run, I highlight it and hit return. As you can see, iTerm and Terminal are highlighted now, so I use the arrow down to select the terminal and launch it. Pretty easy, right? But you'll be amazed how much time that simple function can save you. LaunchBar does more to help you even with that through its intelligent search mechanism. You may have noticed that when I began to launch the terminal, and I typed TE, iTerm came up before Terminal, even though it doesn't start with TE. That's because LaunchBar knows that I use iTerm more often than Terminal, and it puts it up at the top of the search results. Below that, you'll see other applications and files that I use that also are connected with TE. This makes it very quick to launch not only applications through search, but applications quickly using, for instance, a single letter. Using F brings up Firefox, which I use all the time. And that means that when I want to launch it again, I can just hit Command Space and Return and go right back to it. LaunchBar also has a built-in application switcher to switch to any of the applications you're currently running. I don't use this that much because I tend to use the Command Tab option that's built into the operating system. But you might find that the LaunchBar application switcher is more productive for you. As always, there are two ways you can do this. You can press Command Space to launch the launch bar, but keep the Command key down and hit Space again to show the applications that you're currently running and switch to them. Another way to do it is to invoke launch bar the way you normally do, and then hit Command R for running applications and select the application you want to switch to the way you always do. Another very useful feature of LaunchBar is the ability to find and open files from the LaunchBar command line. For instance, if I invoke LaunchBar and type 603, it finds items that match 603 that I access regularly. For instance, my ed603 folder. I can then delve into that folder by pressing space, which begins a sub-search, and find documents the way I normally would, and open them the way I normally would. But LaunchBar can find more than just files and folders. LaunchBar can also search within the libraries of applications such as iPhoto, iTunes, or the bookmark libraries from your browser. To access these, you find them as you would a normal file by finding the application first. For instance, I'm going to find iPhoto, then press space as if you were entering a folder, but you're actually entering the library of that particular application, from which you can browse around the way you normally would, and then when you find a file, you can hit return to launch it, or hit space to get a quick view, and space again to close the quick view. The quick view function is pretty smart, and can show you the contents of all kinds of files. That includes images, PDF documents, Microsoft Office documents, and more. For instance, if I find a text file, I can quick view it using the built-in text viewer. 
If LaunchBar doesn't know what to do with what you have found, for instance, the Firefox application, the Quick View will show you information about that op application and allow you to open it directly. LaunchBar also keeps a history of the items you've accessed recently so that you can easily access them, them again. The easiest way to use this history is to invoke LaunchBar the way you normally would, but hold down the command key and use up and down arrows to select the item you wish to launch again. Another way to do this is to invoke LaunchBar and then use the command B, which I guess stands for Brecent or Back to Recent File from inside LaunchBar and select it the way you normally would. By default, LaunchBar will open the file you select with the default application. However, you can choose other applications by pressing the Tab key while you have a file selected. For instance, if I bring up the text document we were looking at before, press the Tab key, I have all kinds of options, and I can continue to use typing shortcuts to find the one I want and launch it inside that application. It's important to know that if you set new default programs in the operating system, or even open a file using a different program once, LaunchBar remembers that and it will show up as an option in that long list the next time you try to open a file with a different application. This brief introduction has barely scratched the surface of what LaunchBar can do. In addition to accessing files, folders, and applications, you can do more things with files, such as move and copy them. You can perform calculations using a calculator. You can perform instant web searches. You can open your web bookmarks. You can directly access contact information and send email, including selected files, if you wish. For me, LaunchBar is a must-have application, and I don't think I can even calculate the amount of time it saved me. I hope you'll check it out for yourself.